Okay, so you've signed up for your EverFi teacher account. You've explored the catalog a bit, and now you're ready to start creating classes for your students to join. So there are two different ways to create classes. And let's talk about the very first one from your teacher dashboard. If you look on the course tile on your dashboard, you'll see three buttons, create class, view course, and resources. You're gonna click that button that says create class, which will then bring up a pop-up. You're going to name your class, and we highly recommend naming your class however you want a grade book to look. So for example, if you want to create this by sections or if you want to have all your students in one class, totally up to you. You can estimate the start date, class size, and grade level. And then at the very bottom, you'll see that course that you want to create a class for. And you can also add additional courses here. So maybe there's another course that you would like students to have access to. I'll just go ahead and add that. So here you can see for this sample class, I'll have the Compassion Project and Healthier Me Elementary School. I'll press the blue Create button in the upper right-hand corner, and it's gonna automatically give me a registration code that is unique to this class. So this is what students will register with. So when they go to that registration page, the same one that you went to as a teacher, and they click on the students button, it'll ask for a registration code. This is what the students will put in. You can easily copy this, put it in your Google Classroom, your Canvas course, write it on the board, but you can always come back to that registration code by clicking on the classes tab, finding the registration code for the class that you would like and pull it right back up. So that's one step of how to create a class, but there's one other way. You can easily go back to your catalog again and say you're perusing through your catalog and you see that, oh, I really wanna add this course to my class or I want to create a class for it. You can create a class directly from the catalog by clicking on the create class button. Same process here. I will name the class, put in my start date, class size, and grade level. And again, I can add more courses if I'd like to. Now let's go back to your home screen. And let's say, for example, I want to see what classes I've created. So I'll go over to my class tab. I see that sample. And maybe I want to add more courses directly onto the sample. I'm going to click the Edit button. And from here, I can scroll down to the bottom and add courses to this already existing class. Just make sure that you click the blue save button. And now this class will have three courses as opposed to two. Say for example, you create a class, you add the courses and you change your mind, totally fine. Go ahead and just click the hide button. So that way no students will see it. You will not see it. It'll keep your classes tab nice and clean. But say, for example, you accidentally hit the hide button. That's okay. You can click on the show all classes drop down. Click on the eyeball icon that says show and it'll bring your classes right back up. You may notice also on this classes tab here or this tile that it says students. If I click on the students, it'll pivot over to the students tab. And it looks like I don't have any students yet that have registered for that course. And that's totally fine. You can easily give that registration code to your students to self-register. But also, say for example, you want to 
upload the students yourself so that you can easily manage usernames and passwords, or maybe you don't want the students to have to go through that registration process. You can easily add a single student or multiple students just using a CSV file, which is an Excel sheet, where you'll create the username and password for multiple students, upload them, and then they will appear here in your students tab. Let's take a look at the next video where we actually explore the students tab to get to know it a little bit better.